Hello everybody, welcome back, hope you're doing well today. We are back at it again with our lovely, lovely province here covered in vampiric corruption. Obviously the last episode we took Riff Raffer. How are we doing? Okay, so we've, we're have we in pretty good state army health wise. Our grudges are in a really bad state. I was just having a look through them. We really need to knock a few of these off and it would be lovely to get the extra rewards as well. Even if it's just oath gold and stuff. We can forge more items. It will be really nice. But for the moment, I think we're not doing anything else this turn. We took this. We know that Ikit Claw is probably going to take the capital, which is fine. Because we're pushing down to Aranessa. Scrag is still AWOL. I don't really want to spend the cash on Carrick Hearn in the meantime. Just in case he comes out. And our capital is nearly... Obviously, that's Lokazor. That's not his name. Did we check diplomacy this turn? Forgive me. Forgive me, because I know we check it every five seconds. We obviously did. Okay, right. Let's see if Ikit does as we think he's going to. Alaric is ready for GT, and as you can see... Well, first of all, disciplinarian for Logazor. Not his name. <laughs> I, I like Logazor, though. I don't know. How would you... Look, let's not worry about it. Control plus one for him, which is actually kind of nice while he's sitting there. But Ikit has not gone for the capital here. I'm not going to spend any money on it still. He has gone up here, which is kind of disappointing because I don't know what that means. I could get Alaric back here. We might have to lose money for a bit. But if that's what it's going to be, I will. I don't think he'll be able to reach a settlement this turn. And I'm not going to recruit extra troops, I don't think. So we can just get in, the, um, get in Alaric, whichever one is necessary, at the last moment. Don't we, do we have any extra regiments of Renown yet? No, but we have Slayers. So we could all... Oh, yeah, we do. Sorry. We have the Warriors of Dragonfire Pass, of course. And we could add Slayers if we wanted to. All right. We'll leave it then for now. And I think we'll just carry on. There's a garrison of 10 there. Plus a Lord there and a 20 stack. Granted, it's mostly just zombies. They do have three bloated corpses but the, and Aranessa. But that... No, not this. It's going to be mucky, but I, at the same time, I can't really delay, can I? 14 garrison there as well. Come on, bro. We don't have that. We have 11. 11 there. We are struggling. Do I want to move you over to Karak Bufdar or not? I actually think I do. But I might not be able to move you back. And then if Ikit goes to Buftar, we already have a Lord there. And then if he goes, well, I don't know, actually. I'm just worried that the moment I do this, Scrag comes bumbling through. But he's not taken Akendorf yet, and I think that's what he'll be doing. The only worry is, is I can't reach it in one turn, but I think I am going to do it. Okay, I think we're just going to do this. Maybe we encircle? We could do. <sighs> Let's see how it looks. I don't... I'm fighting all this with towers. I think I'm going to take my chances and encircle for one turn and just see if they come out to me and then I don't have to deal with towers and everything leadership bonus what do we actually need that on nobody really maybe I'll put it on these guys because they're a bit wounded so we are going to encircle which means taking an extra turn well to be fair I could have attacked the army out here couldn't I but then they would have just retreated and I would have been left in the lurch so let's just encircle maybe they'll take some attrition and we'll see uh see what it does Ah, there we go. They are marching out. Also, I've just seen Ikit has gone for Zarekzil down here, so we will be recruiting Alaric by the looks of it. In the meantime, though, we need to win this battle, and we are going to have to make sure we deal with these bloated corpses. And it may have to be the ghosts or whatever that go and deal with it. They do have the gunnery mob. Obviously, we've already fought against uh, these guys once and had a bad time with our ghosts. It's not in the underway this time. Just on a generic map. Let's see what we can do. Right. Oh, reinforcements coming from there. We've got two minutes. Wait, is it just the Lord here for now? I can't see them, though. Will I be able to see them? Oh, what do I want to do? I think... It sucks that this is downhill. 
I feel like if I go here, that might be they might come on there. Because bear in mind we've got Aaron S's whole stack coming on. I feel like it, they might still be coming on here because I'd love to potentially set up the grudge thrower here. But I do think that's going to be a bit risky. I suppose I can do it here. And then just kind of march everybody. I might even send King Lun to deal with the Lord. They won't come on near the rock. No, I want it the other way around. Sorry. I could do something like this, couldn't I? Um, I mean, if I put the Thunderers on this hill, they should be able to shoot over the top of everybody. And then I could just make, try and march my line of dwarves in here. Or if I kill the Lord, we could end the battle prematurely. But I think I'm going to focus on the reinforcements. I'm not 100% sure how that's going to go. We can put the rangers there, I guess. We're just going to have to march everybody in, aren't we? Which is a bit dodgy. Uh, I'm going to potentially use these guys to go kill the other lord. This is risky. I don't really know how this is going to go. Oh, they do have a few units. And including a bloated corpse. Well, that's unfortunate. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. That's my squad. I know. I know. But I'm sticking to it. All right, let's uh let's plan this out a bit. I don't know how long their forces are going to be, you know, like in terms of literal width. I'm going to put all this slot down here. I've got the miners set up. I'm probably going to leave them there. Obviously, the grudge thrower. I mean, I could turn the grudge thrower around. I can give it more ammo, of course. And I'm probably going to put the engineer here. So I'll tell you what, we will turn the grudge thrower around for now. As long as I get it back in time. And then we've got our support specialist and Belagar. And then we might move in a bit closer, but well, it's a bit risky doing this. Um, obviously, I, I ended up putting the Rangers there and not the Thunderers. What do I want to do with the Thunderers then? I might bring the Thunderers in around the side. I'll tell you what, I think I'll take the Thunderers over here for now. We need to get this done quickly, though. There's a lot to do, boys. Go, 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 go. Hurry up. <laughs> I don't want anything. Just no. In fact, no. Literally both go for it. I don't want any funny business. Um, maybe I'll tell the Thunderous to shoot it just in case. Oh, it's the Grudge Thrower. I was like, what's firing? Oh, you're going to miss loads, aren't you? We'll see about this. But anyway. Are you guys going to catch up with it? I used your foe seeker already. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I guess we're going to shoot it. I don't want this. I don't want this. Shoot it. Shoot it. Shoot it. There we go. Right. Hang on. Slow down for a sec. Come here. Spirit leech is a bit unfortunate. Come on, boys. Why do you stop your charge for, like, one zombie? Come on, now. Oh, my God. Look how much damage we took. Is that from Spirit Leech? I guess so. Are you firing at these? I'm getting a little bit unconvinced. Oh, you are. 
Reinforcements are approaching. It's time already. Jesus. Okay. Wait, hang on. <laughs> I think we're just going to have to give targets and then we'll see how it plays out. I didn't get in there quick enough. I can't believe it's been two minutes already. Are you serious? Shoot a fireball. Oh my god, we're nowhere near close enough. I mean, they could still come in closer, but... Right, turn around. Way too late. I didn't... Time flies, bro. That's pretty bad for me. Let's entrench them for the time being, you know. Um, can't really do anything with that around now, so... Whoops. No, 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 no. Hello, guy. Get in there. Get in there. Don't all clump up too much, please. All right. Let's get in there, boys. We're going to hit our own units with the fucking blasting charges. I'm going to move you... I'm going to move you forward, <laughs> if you would. You're not moving, even though I specifically requested it. Okay, I guess you can just fire from there, then. We're going to have our blasting charges now. Let's get you guys forward. This is done. Oh, I forgot about the other bloated corpse. Oh, no. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. That is bad. How are we doing? Okay, we're gonna get engaged here. Move to attack. Ready to fight. That is bad vibes. Has Aaron just walked away from you? Oh, for fuck's sake. The ancestors watch. See if we can shoot over there, maybe. Maybe I clicked on that because they have leadership. I don't know. Run away from her. You stay there. All good. Right. We haven't even used our rune because we're idiots. Let's use it right on top here. Great. Maybe I should have used armor. Are you even firing? There you are. We are taking a pound in right now. We've really played this quite badly. But I, I didn't want to just keep pausing and fucking around, you know. Right, kill her. Not you. You're getting shot. So, oh, it's these bombers. Oh my goodness. We are getting destroyed here by the gunpowder units. Okay, we're going to win, but holy crap, we're taking some damage. There's bats over there? Like, since when? We are so all over the place. We're good, though. We're good. We're all good, look. They're all dying. And the good news is, because they're vampires, they are actually good. How has she got over here? Bro, she's so quick. Not quick enough to avoid death, though. Come on. Come on. There we go. No, she's, no, she's doing backflips. She's not dead. That's better. You dead? No, she's getting up again. What? Die. <laughs> Please. Okay, she's going to die. There's a lot of bodies here. There's a lot of dwarf bodies. We took crazy damage there. Whoopsie daisy. But that was so bad. <laughs> I just completely forgot that like the two minutes goes past really quickly before they arrive. Oh, man. We should have been right on top of them. We would have taken so much da uh, less damage, sorry, if we'd been grouped right on top of them and we just pushed them against the edge of the map. But never mind. We got the victory. Hopefully, we can push Aranessa out now. We can, of course, uh, recruit Slayers or the Regiment of Renown if we need to replenish. Oh, my. 
What a kill box, though. There's still a lot, a lot of dead zombies. We lose one unit of dwarf warriors, which is a shame, but we can get the warriors of Dragonfire Pass in. It means we won't be getting them in in our garrison up there, though. Oh, that, uh, oh, 90 Oath God. That, uh, that battle just flew right by me. <laughs> like, we just, it was a disorganized mess. We lost more than we should have done. But never mind, we got the victory. That's the main thing. And we didn't lose too much. We lost one unit. We are quite wounded, though, which does worry me in terms of going forward and attacking the settlement down the bottom. Also, we've got to, of course, kill the... Rem Is there any garrison left? No, there isn't. Okay, fine. Oh, Dragonback Slayers are available. Maybe it's time... Oh, Goblubbers. But maybe it's time we... We get... Well, I was going to say Slayers involved, but we could get the... The Goblubbers. However, what are we thinking about this? Now, we've got some cash, which I'd love to spend in our capital. They haven't used their... Uh, doom engineer yet which is frightening because it means they can obviously cause an earthquake here but then at the same time this doesn't have walls right it's a settlement can you can you damage the walls of a of a settlement battle i don't know either way Alaric, welcome back and as you can see that's immediately going to plunge us into the red so how do we feel because we could spend money and get all these but then we've got to pay the upkeep are we what are we going to do with this gap we've got let's get in there Province secured? Is that? Oh, of course it is. And then we've just got this one. Okay. I guess we really need to try and lower corruption here if we're going to stay. Let's do skill points. We're level 16 now. We can also get the Age of Reconquest, which we will get, if anything, for the Shattering Aura Leadership uh, Hex for enemies and the Campaign Movement Range. And we've got another skill point. I'm not that excited about the charge bonus or the... Rec well, that will matter soon, but I'm kind of... Well, we should just get it sooner rather than later, shouldn't we? No, let's just get it now. But then I do run a Rona? I do want to get back into this tree pretty quickly. Beligar Iron Hammer. You're not Beligar. Please. <laughs> Please remember that. Strangulation? I think we just get two points in that. True King of AP. Do we want any of these? Missile resistance would be good. It's really spell resistance. Oh, we can get one of these three now. Keeper of the Gate. Vigor loss reduction for hammerers. Passive ability guardian, which is physical resistance in an area, which is pretty spicy. And expert charge defense. Attacks cause flammable effect, reducing fire resistance. It's really interesting if you've got uh, blasting charge miners or a flame cannon. Uh, or, or iron drakes, of course. Uh, ammunition for iron drakes. Fire resistance, 75% for him. A wanderer. Snipe for range units. What the hell is snipe? This unit remains hidden while firing? Oh, Wow. Oh wow, that could be really good if we if we got a bunch of rangers. But when is that going to happen? Also, we get Vanguard deployment and Stork, which is kind of weird for King Lund, though, isn't it? Lord of the It's only really these guys that are going to have this. Obviously, we can take two separate ones on the two Thanes. So I think we will take the physical resistance. Is is. Uh, it's pretty nice. Obviously, I think it's only for lords and heroes. Yeah, but it's still very, very nice. I'm not too fussed about this one. So maybe we take Wanderer with one and Keeper of the Gate with the others. The other one, sorry. So I think we'll take Keeper of the Gate with you. Um, you've got another skill point, so we'll just get the last wound maker. True King right, we can now come in. Is that what we want to do? I'd love to get hardened armor or sharpened weapons, but the runes. We should really upgrade our existing runes as well because we've only done Wrath and Ruin. But passively immune to psychology is nice. Uh, spell resistance for enemies reduced and missile resistance reduced. That's actually really big when you think about our missile units as well. Rune of Negation is damage resistance, which can be really good. Or we can imbue Sunder Armor with our to our units with a Rune of Breaking and increase their damage. These are all really good. I think maybe Ward Break is a really good passive to have. So is that mind, but and then I, I think I think we'll take rune of negation for just trying to keep a unit alive that's having a really bad time. Lord you are gonna have there. wanderer for the snipe for the rangers and stuff, and then we're gonna try uh, soon. <laughs> we're gonna try and get rangers. I don't really want the quarrelers. I want rangers only, and we'll get woundmaker as well. Yes. Uh, I'm not gonna spend any money here. 
You could argue that I don't really spend money there either. You can go, I suppose. Which gives us a bit of cash to play with. And then what do I do? It kind of... The, the shitty thing is, is when we get these, they then go on cooldown. I suppose the Goblobber isn't great for, um, for a settlement battle. So maybe we get the Warriors of Dragon... Well, in that case... Then I suppose I don't need to get it this turn, but I'll get it there. Maybe some Slayers? I mean... He doesn't have any Rat Ogres, though. He's got a Doom Flayer. Oh, Doom Flayers, sorry. So they're not even... Oh, they are large. Not as big as a Doom Wheel. They've got a lot of weapons teams. Is there anything that... I suppose that makes me kind of want this to hit the weapons team. But there isn't really a good option here, is there? I think we'll take the Warriors... Anti-large. These are armor-piercing, I suppose. These aren't, supposedly. No, they're not. Giant slayers are armor-piercing. Maybe that's what we do. Might even get that. And then we'll get the, the Goblobber when we can with you. We need to move out onto Sartosa before they re-recruit. But they're going to re-recruit like straight away. So it's really painful. We're going to keep the rest of our money for obvious reasons. Yourself. Nobody, nobody. Uh, we can actually get a military alliance, well, defensive alliance, sorry, with the Golden Order, but that seems like a terrible idea. Especially since they're at war with one of the Wood Elves, which I did not realize. Of course, we could peace with Sartosa now that we've taken this province. But I don't, I think that's bad. Like, they're gonna, they're just gonna come back and have an issue with us, aren't they? So I don't really want to do that. Let's just, uh, actually, let's stick around and see what Ikki does, because I think his turn's quite early. There it is. He's not attacked. By my hammer, I should slay you you want peace? No. Interesting. No, we're not sending you. They're trespassing, can't we? Oh, no. We might, we'll get there, Orion. We'll get there. They've gone back. Okay. I'd love to disband these. I think I will, you know. I know it's like proper... Maybe I'll leave Alaric, but I'll disband these. Do we get those Slayers back? I bet we don't. No. It is 20% though. I mean, at the end of the day, we've got such high grudges that I'm not too worried about wasting that. Also, we didn't spend our Oath Gold, did we? I think we still want to kit Belagar out, but maybe we'll save it. Should we save it and get a better, better stuff? Because we have to bear in mind as well, we do actually have the quests for Belagor. Belagar, sorry, Belagor. Um, how do I see my quests? Oh, it's on him, isn't it, these days? Which gives him a shield and a weapon anyway. But we have to do them. <laughs> we can probably do them soon once we get this. Well, all this crap sorted out. Right, they've not recruited an army, so I think we have to get in there. I mean, this isn't actually great for sieging a city, is it? But I think we still do it generally. I kind of want to. I just want to. I actually don't think it's great. We probably. We obviously, I want to replace these with rangers and then maybe get rid of these miners. But anyway. Do have some deck droppers. But anyway, let's... Do we want a ram? Probably not. We've got two sets of miners. Let's just start... I'm obviously not going to wait five turns. But let's just start building some uh, some siege equipment. And I guess we're just going to have to keep an eye on Icky. I assume he's going to attack here, which is going to be terrible, but I'm not going to defend it. We can come back and deal with it later. Do I want to invest some of the money into this? I kind of do, but I don't think we can. I think we've got to sit tight for now. The gods are angry. A thousand for some control. It's tempting, but I don't... Oh, but control minus three feels pretty bad. You know what? We're going to do it. It's not great, but we're going to do it. And since Ikit's walked away with his army, it could be cheeky and get rid of Alaric. 
I think I will. Let's try and get some money in. Let's be greedy. I don't know what this lot are doing. They're just causing causing havoc. Never mind. Step forth, true friend of the Ah, oh, I was gonna have a bit of a pulse check on you guys. Defensive Alliance, no. I did plan after the end turn finish to go and see if they were still alive. Obviously they are. Pestilent scheme performs. They're spreading a plague, which is gonna be us, right? No? Ammunition increase? Okay. They're still alive. I was I'm a bit worried about where Scrag is, but anyway. Also, um Balthazar asked for a defensive alliance. Obviously, I said, wait, it gets there? He wasn't there a minute ago, was he? Oh, well, I guess I wouldn't have had a garrison there either way. That kind of sucks. I might have to just let that go. Obviously, I can't attack out and win with that. So we're kind of stuck taking attrition. Maybe I do have a grudge thrower. No lord, though. I mean, I suppose we could try. wait on that how many have we got we've got we actually do have we have four already or do we no we've only been here what does that count as two sets of two or is that telling me i've got two towers well we'll wait one more turn and we'll find out if it goes up to four or three <laughs> uh, continue do not break siege that would be terrible okay uh so do we want to march out that's the issue isn't it because i mean i could sit there for another turn and see if he comes in I'll fight it if we've got the settlement defenses. But what's he doing? Why is he waiting? We'll have to leave it, I think. Right, volley fire will get reload time reduction, which is going to be really good for our ranged units. Not that we have a lot of ranged units. I do need to come in here and get get some upgrades for well then again. <laughs> there's not that many infantry upgrades, is there? It's all about rangers. I need to I need to get rangers. <laughs> yeah, we'll get volley fire though. Reload time reduction. That's gonna be good for us generally. Uh, quick diplomacy check, actually. I haven't done it for a couple of turns here. Uh, how much would that cost? We don't have the money, I'm sure. I am not doing 2,000. No evil doer may receive the blessing. The Empire. The Empire. Okay. Hopefully, it's going to attack us then. Let's just stick around and find out as he has his turn early. A bit worried about Scrag now as well. But let's see. I think he's like 35, is he, or something? He's not come in, unfortunately, which is rather shit news. Do we want him to just stay there? We can just hold... Like, yeah, okay, he's going to take Buftar, but if he's stuck there whilst we're busy down south, is that better than attacking him now and losing and then he's free to go and do other stuff? Potentially. Obviously, the longer he sits there, we're not going to be able to win because we're all taking attrition because it's kind of silly. I don't really want to march out on this, though. There's a chance, but it's a little chance. And he's got, obviously, well, probably not with Ikit himself as well. It's not going to happen. We don't have a Lord. I think we'll let him waste as much time as possible. After he's done that, we'll obviously recruit some units if we have to. At least we're building up a bank to do that in the meantime. Three. So we've actually got six towers, which is more than enough. We could auto-resolve, but I think we'll take a bunch more damage, potentially. Maybe. Let's fight it ourselves. Just have a quick look at the map here. Oh, okay. Alright, I guess we won't be splitting up too much. We really need to have a better eye on the bloated corpse this time, though. Okie doke. Uh, who do we want in towers? Probably as it is, which is actually all of our infantry, which is fine. Do we want to attack that gate? I feel like we may as well take the middle. And probably just overload it with all of our towers. I think that's probably what I want to do. Um... Oh, these towers are so good. Really cool. Uh, is that... Are the trees going to fuck with that? Maybe. Just have it on the outside in case. Although I can't really do much over here. I suppose I can do that and then that. 
We're going to need to get the gates. I mean, the issue, you're really wounded, so I kind of don't want to... I do kind of want to use... Even though they're going to get shot a lot as they run to the gate here, I think I'm going to use you. Put you on melee. These miners... I might just have them hiding and then going and attacking this gate and busting in or something. Is the other side better? Not really. Maybe we can sneak up here and grab some, some points. If we can hide. Can we hide here? It's not looking good, is it? Are these even trees? They are trees, but they're very thin trees. We might have to come back. Oh, we can't really hide anywhere, can we? Not getting that little symbol you get on your mouse when when you can hide. That's a shame. Sometimes you can pull it off. No. Okay, well, let's just check the other side quickly. Oh, this looks thicker. Come on, surely. You're just not going to let me hide here, are you? Why are you this way? Where could... Can I... I surely I can hide over here. No? Can we just... And don't tell me you can't hide on siege maps because I've done it in my own campaigns. Okay. All right. Well, tell you what then. You can draw some defenders over here and then run away because I can't really think what else to do with you. And in fact, if you start all the way back here, they either... They'll have some defenders that can't really reach you or they won't defend here at all and you can run up and attack the gate, although you'll be quite slow. So you know what? No, I changed my mind. Come, come like here, and then you can run back. <laughs> Pango strategy. Okay. How do we feel about everybody else? Not great. I should make them a thin line so you don't get shot so easily from towers. And I suppose we'll just kind of do do like this kind of deal. Oh, you're very wounded. I'm not going to move these forward, obviously. I don't want to have them take a load of... Uh, obviously, the rangers could be up here, but I don't want to have them take a load of extra fire. The grudge throwers... I mean, we could shoot the gate a couple of times. I don't want to hit our own towers, which is a concern. So I might actually put them a bit more narrow than that. I'm a bit concerned. How much range do they really need to have? I don't know how far the towers can shoot, and we might take a bunch of damage. We probably won't, though. I think I'll go with this for now. And I'll attack the gate at the beginning. Belagar can probably be in the middle. I'm a bit worried about you. And we'll just put you back here as well. Okay, I think that's everybody, isn't it? So let's start the battle. We're going to pause immediately. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> we are going to... Well, should I? Should I go for the gate with these? Maybe not, because we don't really care about the gate that much. So what I might do is just let them let them do as they wish. These hand cannons are a bit rough. These guys might just get shredded, you know. Did they they did put some defenders over here, including the bloated corpse. I'm gonna just move them all the way back and forget about them for now. You can't hide here, can you know? All right. Okay. We've got the deck droppers to worry about. We're going to have to maybe focus those. But anyway, let's get going. Funnily enough, you're almost in range. So I'm going to... I'm going to very quickly scoot you all forward anyway. This is concerning that they're just going to die, but... Run! Run! Run, boys. Let's see if these towers focus down any of our siege towers. We've got to just keep an eye on that. Good to see our grudge throwers are having a go. They're actually doing a bit of damage here as well, which is nice. Disrupting this lot. Okay, we've reached the gate. Move forward. Uh, I'm probably going to send this thing up this tower, so let's go there. Probably you as well. I'm a bit concerned. Looks like they're actually abandoning the walls to an extent. So let's move these guys right up. I mean, there are potential enemies, but... Do we get armor here? Damage resistance? Or do we go for... 
go for one of these. The gate is down already. I wouldn't mind throwing some uh, throwing some bombs through that doorway if need be, but it looks like they're just waiting. So I'm probably... Mm, I might wait until our boys are out on the wall, which they're all arriving now. This is interesting, isn't it? Bloated corpse is coming. Which means I don't want to get off the wall just yet. Because they're all sat there... Good. Let's be patient here. We're not taking a ton of fire right now. We will be soon. Alright, let's just go into slow-mo while I just get organized here. Let's have let's have you guys up towers. Our grudge throwers are firing as well, so I don't feel under a huge amount of pressure. We're now being shot there, I suppose. I've got to get the Thane down to deal with that bloated corpse. I think we'll just get down there on that unit. And honestly, there isn't a lot here, so let, let's get in there. I might even send all three of these units here out of the way. I don't want that... What is that corpse doing? I don't know. Maybe I will send you down. Okay. Oh, what? Oh, the deck droppers came to the miners? Oh, they might be dead. Good luck, boys. Oh, I didn't mean... Why did you go up the tower, man? The gate is open. Okay, we're not really using our blasting charges, but that's fine. In fact, just go into melee. I don't want you to use them. Okay, looking good. Looking good. Bloated corpse, check. He's all the way over there. Good. We will let the Thane go and try and get him. This is going really well so far. Where are you? I didn't bring you in. Numpty. Bit worried about those halberds coming up here. Oh, we finished this lot. I didn't even realize. Okay. Okay, we're doing good. We're, oh, come on, lads. <laughs> I, didn't, I don't realize when these units get shredded. I'm not paying attention. We can nearly use another rune. Do we? Where do we need it? Actually, not sure. Maybe you guys need to cease fire for now. Or move over here. Oh, the miners won. Lads. I don't know what's happening. I don't really want you to get... Where's the... Where is the bloated corpse? Did it die? Do you reckon it died? Trying... Oh, no. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we're fine. No, let's keep an eye out. We're very close to winning with relatively minimal casualties. Our engineer up here just vibing out. Are you going to shoot? Like, what are you doing? Face that way. Why are you not facing the way I want you to? <laughs> Why are you behaving like this? Can you fire? Alright, you do you. You know what? You do you. We're taking a bit of damage from the towers. We should really try and get the victory points. But we're kind of very close to winning. Let's get some speed. Keep an eye out for a bloated corpse if it comes back. get our range units in properly. Have we missed anybody? I don't know. Just come in. Oh, are they going after them? You bastards. The other deck droppers. They really want those miners. Just throw your bombs at them. Like real talk. Oh no, they're backing up. All right, good. That's that tower out of the way. I think... The well, I think they're done, actually. These poor miners got a thrashing, but everybody else is basically fine. Move yeah, they're all crumbling. That's it. They did survive. Good win in the end. Really, really limited casualties. Limited fighting, even. We just kind of killed them. I wonder, let's see how many kills the grudge throwers got, you know? I'm really interested to see. We only lost 42 dwarves. 
And most of them are probably these poor miners. They only got 11 kills, but they did a lot of damage. 3,400. Is that a lot? Yeah, it is a lot. They were fighting these deck droppers. Absolute MVPs of the fight. The Grudge Thrower, 71 and 50. Quite a lot, considering. Okay, good. Relatively simple in the end. We'll take that. And is that the end of Aranessa? I hope it is. I'm not seeing it. <laughs> Worryingly, I'm not seeing Faction Dead Forever coming up. Oh dear, why have we encountered the f Exiles of Corn? What do you mean? We haven't encountered them at all. Don't say that. Oh dear. Oh, they're at Stormhenge. Well, okay. Why Why is Aranessa alive? Riddle me this. Why is she alive? What does it mean? <laughs> what does it mean? You've got no settlements. You must have an army. You're down here? Oh no, it's a full, a full like pirate ship. A full army. Oh dear, that's kind of disappointing. Uh, maybe we can peace out now? I'd be down and then you just stay down there away from me. Oh, that would be so good. No, you don't want to. Okay, fine. It is what it is. Sartosa is ours. We casually have this, which I don't really want. Um, Ikit, we're going to have to wait and see, aren't we? Let's go just sort this out, and then we'll end turn and see what he does. Do we want Oaths of Reclamation? I mean, it's handy, but we don't have any Oath Gold buildings or anything. I think we'll go back and, and continue down this road now. We're going to need the green skin thing, but I think for now I'm going to take melee defense. And let's get down here and get Deadly Onslaught and whatnot if we can. Okay, I think we're done then, aren't we? We're not going to spend any of our money. We're just going to hold it for now and wait to see where to invest it. Obviously, the next... Well, I need this dealt with. Is patient when listening and I'll take it. Honor before glory. Yeah, you as well. We'll be friends with you guys. I could extort you for a bit of cash, but I won't. I'm feeling kind. You called? No evil... Yes? <laughs> Fucking border princes. Hold in! Just hold in there! You can do it! Okay, right. Let's see. Oh no, we have a commandment. Of course, it's another province. Obviously, control and corruption reduction. Let's have a look and see what this bugger does then. Is he going to come in this turn? Or is he just going to sit there until we've got absolutely no health left? He is going to sit there until we have absolutely no health left. Well, that's fine. We're going to come and get him. The only concern is, of course, the remaining um, Aranessa army just chilling in the ocean. Elagar, be kind. Yes, absolutely military access. Yes, please. Wait. Wait a minute. Did I just see what I thought I saw? What did I just see there, friends? Hold the phone. Hold the phone. I didn't see it at all. <laughs> I could have sworn I saw one of her armies. <laughs> yeah. But I, unless it just moved, I did not. And that was a complete load of shit. Oh my God, all that hype for nothing. Absolutely nothing. Completely baited. Right, Scrag check. Akradorf stands. Scrag is not in view. Oh, he's at war. That isn't like bugging out. Uh, yeah, he is at war with Wurzag. He's not at war with these guys yet. They've got enough problems with Wurzag. That's good. Wurzag may distract him. Can the Fey Enchantress do something? Seven thousand. Are you high? Okay, never mind. What are we gonna do? Somebody tell me what to. Oh, never mind. He's here. She's here. Evelyn. I'm surrounded by fools. Hmm. These miners, they're unit rank six. I can't bring myself to get rid of them, but it'd be good to get rid of them and get some some slayers or something. Of which we've now got five normal slayers saved up. And we have 7,000. I mean, we're going to build something here, I guess. It's tempting to get orchards. It gives control as well. I guess we will. I need this dealt with. I could go and attack it now. We do have the two grudge towers. I think we do it. Obviously, I'm going to have to do this next episode. I could even auto-resolve, but I think we'll fight it. It'd be good to see the, the uh, grudge towers out on an... Will it, will it be an island battle? Terrain, shallow seas, yeah. I think it'll be good to see these two grudge towers in the open field. We're going to have to deal with the bloated corpses, of course. 
But we should be able to kill these relatively easily. And then if that's the end of that faction, then we're on to it. We can go and deal with Ikit, which admittedly won't be a simple task. Once we've dealt with Ikit, we're in the clear. We can actually start going east, which is the great plan. We're not lizard men, but that is our great plan. Oh, that will be nice, won't it? Actually doing what we came here to do. Anyway, everybody, for today, we've run out of time. So as always, thank you very much for joining me. Have yourself a fantastic day, and I will see you in the next episode.